Good morning. My work schedule lately has had me shaving in the morning several times. Feels weird. Whip dog. Dog. Mamba. Otter. And Falcon. It's Animal Day with the Lather Games. We're over halfway through. Um, well, shoot, I think we're two-thirds of the way through, roughly. Uh, so this Falcon Blade is going to be my uh, blade for today. I went through my inventory because since it was Animal Day, I was so happy to see that it was Animal Day because a few days ago I got my uh, plunder in. Uh, it's just the kind of character of soap that uh, is right up my alley. And so many times I will buy soaps um, on the second-hand market. Well, this was just seems so good. And it's kind of limited, they said. And uh, so I couldn't resist. And Noble Otter is such a great brand. The performance is excellent. I didn't think there was any risk at all. And so here's how it looks. Obviously a nod to the pirate kind of nature of things. The theme. And this is their, their newer base uh, that they've had out for a while now. So I know it'll be terrific. So the other animal stuff this is the Mamba. Now I've already used the original Mamba. I think it was a 53 gap. This one's got a longer handle. And this one is the, the Mamba 70. This is the new Mamba that came out within the last few months. Maybe several months, I don't know. And I like the original so much. I, I wasn't planning on buying this one, but it came up at a good deal. So, I'll throw that uh, Falcon Blade in it. And then I, I actually was thinking, wow, I've, I've been able to get animal everything as I planned this yesterday, except brushes. I don't really have any animal brushes. There are no model names that are animals until I saw the maker name was Whip Dog. So, we're going to be able to stay on theme with a lot of the gear today. Uh, I'm going to... Uh, Throw some water on my face and uh, put the blade in the razor. All right. Here we go. <clears throat> New putt. As usual, shake most of the water out. And I think we're ready to go. Off the dry putt. Definitely getting that uh, the smoke. He was trying to go for cannon smoke. There's also some citrus in here, like grapefruit, something else. Maybe I'm picking it up. I don't I don't think so. There's also some rose. I'm not sure quite what I'm picking up there other than, than the smoke, but it's definitely there. It, it almost uh I don't know if it's the combination of maybe the rose and the citrus. That's just kind of, it's, it's that combination has become something uh, on its own that I can't really discern as either one. And there's the bay as well. Um, the description said it was mostly, don't think of it as a bay rum. Uh, think of it more like a smoky scent that has some accents, some hints of bay. Maybe I can pick them up a little bit. All right, so 30 second load. Uh, we're starting at 33, so we'll end at 03. Doesn't take too long for it to kind of activate and get sudsy. This is a soft badger brush. It's kind of the, uh, it's not in the new trend of the finest badger that has the tips all treated and stuff and super soft but with a lot of backbone. 
and two more seconds. There we go. Wow, that looks nice. So there's 30 seconds on a brand new Noble Otter Puck with a big, poofy, soft badger. And this is only a 22 millimeter knot. As you can see though, it's big enough size to do the, do the job. Nice. I like the way they're headed. I like their Texas. I like the, uh, and I like the plunder so far. All right, so I thought I would like this tall handle from Whip Dog, but I, I kind of don't. Uh, it doesn't help me to pull the handle in as much as I thought. I, here's a lesson I learned with it. Uh, for me, my preference is there kind of needs to be a, a bulge right here so that my fingers stop earlier. If my fingers keep on going, now they're too close and they get all messy and they, they stay right in the soap every time. That was something good to learn. And it's a cheap handle. I recommend it otherwise. I think a lot of people would enjoy it, especially face latherers. So we're uh, doing well. It's kind of bringing up the lather pretty quickly. One teaspoon in. Some of that smokiness making its way up to my nose now. It's a good looking lather. start. It's not a lather that's uh, structuring up or starting bubbly where you have to gradually beat the bubbles out of it, you know. Alright, let's take a feel. Nice slickness, nice fatty slickness on the fingertips, a little bit of cushion. I don't think I can feel the ridges on my fingerprints very well. It's a good sign that we haven't overwatered it. I'm gonna push it a little further. I've got two teaspoons in it already. Oh, that smokiness is even richer now. Nice. Uh, I'm picking up on the rose, and I think that is part of what was uh, kind of sweetening up the scent. Right now, my impression is I'd rather have that not be in the in the profile. What it almost gives it is a like a scent of the base. It's like the a, a weird, silly putty base scent is is coming through, and and. I really think that's due to the rose. There may be another floral in there that I'm, I'm mistaking. Uh, I read the scent description before I started the video, but I could be misremembering. Maybe it's another flower other than rose, but I know there's something floral in there. There's also some vetiver in here. 
I'm a big fan of that, but it doesn't seem to be too strong. That rose. A little pre-shave. Break up my skin oils, maybe. Uh, do one more half. So that's three teaspoons of water in. Somebody recently remarked how the length of time I was taking to generate my lathers was just excessive. I think they used the word obsessive. And that's okay. That person wants to spend less time on their lathers, that's fine with them. I kind of think it's a little bit meditative, but also I'm doing it slow for the viewers um, because I, I switch soaps a lot. And so sometimes I don't remember the formulation that I like, you know, how many uh, teaspoons of lather I, uh, water I use to make the good lather. And then of course, sometimes it's going to depend on what brush you have. And so a person who and I'm changing brushes all the time. And so a person who uses, uh, who varies their, their pieces to the puzzle is gonna end up with um, variations. You're gonna end up with a, a, a not predictable formula. And so if you have the same soap and the same brush and you're using that over and over, then you're going, you should be able to dial your lather in quicker if you want to. All right, let's take a feel of, yeah. Just starting to feel my my fingertip ridges there. So I bet this is a good place to, to stop. There's some people after the shave, they'll take the excess lather and use it kind of as a face wash. Do it if you want to. But I just washed my face three times and shaved it, so I usually skip that. Unless the uh, soap is just one of my all-time faves and I'm really enjoying being immersed in it, being immersed in it, then I would I do I do, do that sometimes. Alright. Very good. I think we're good. Three teaspoons. Alright, a little water on the face. This badger brush, water out of the goatee. So this brush has, uh, some people consider it floppy. It doesn't have a lot of backbone, but that means it's got a lot of comfort. And it's not so little backbone that it's not. I mean, the tips are kind of staying on my face pretty well. When I have worked with a finest badger that has a lot of backbone that I'm hoping calms down. And then I switch back to this guy and say, welcome, a welcome feel. And this is actually the uh, 22 millimeter knot, like I mentioned. And so I could, if I wanted more density, Maybe try the 24. Man, this lather feels creamy and good. Tell you that. This is my first time using the Mamba 70. One of the problems, uh, I don't, I, li I love the lather games for a lot of reasons. And I kind of shave that way anyway, changing up uh, razors and, and soaps and brushes often. And so it works for that. That's pretty cool. However, when you get some new gear in, like this plunder and like this mamba, if it doesn't fit into a slot for the calendar, then you got to wait for the rest of the month until you can use it. So this is a bonus day for me because I get to use two things that I got on hand before the start of the la after the start of the lather games. All right, now I've heard reports that the mamba seventy 
is kind of just as mild as the Mamba 53, the original. However, it's more efficient. Let's see if that is how it pans out for me. Wow, that is mild. But I can also feel it cutting nicely. I don't remember if this Tiger Blade is a good one for me. If it has behaved well, you know, in other razors. I think this one has been used uh, three or four times. So it's not, that's very comfortable. And it's, I'm either shaving off 24 hours of growth or a little bit more than that. So I think it's doing great. I feel very confident. And sometimes with these uh, razors that are more mild, you end up with uh, a little bit of clogging issue. But, you know, the Mambas have these long, nice slits in the base plate that, that shouldn't be an issue at all. And uh, it's a mild razor. And one of the issues you can sometimes have with mild razors is not being able to find that sweet spot. And so you end up with an, a less efficient cut because your angle's not right. Well, it, it feels like it's cutting well, so maybe I've got the angle close enough. Really happy with this so far. All right, let's get that second pass up and running. Really nice rinses. The uh, luxury feel of the creaminess of this base is there. I could tell when I did the rinse that uh, the, the cut was nice i had a lot of had a, i didn't have a lot of stubble that i felt you know all right man i forgot to show you the ladder let's do that before i forget let's see what kind of viscosity we have so that's, there's how it looks on a ball it is sometimes a little bit more th thicker than I usually uh, like. I probably could thin it down just a hair. There we go. That's pretty good. Let's look at the stretch. Yeah, look at him collapse. That's good. That's good. All right, I think I'm ready to go with the face. This uh, is a titanium handle. Let's let's see how slippery it is. I'm gonna get some soap on my fingers. It is kind of slippery if you have soapy fingers. So, warning: make sure you rinse. Make sure you rinse that off uh, after the rinse, and then my fingers are free of oils, and it's very wet right now. Very confident with the grip the clean fingers with less oil no problem at all so just keep that rinsed and you should be fine you can hear it's a little vocal and I like that I, I like it to, I like my razors to be kind of on the quiet side So when you hear you you hear you're cutting when you hear that you're cutting it's nice with mild razors like this because it helps you keep that angle. So I like the comfort and the feel of this Tiger Blade with this Mamba. The Tiger is one of those that I do not have a. A large number of so but I'm sure some of my usual blades like the Gillette Silver Blue, Gillette Platinum, Feather, Pole Silver will work well well in this razor. Base feels great, no irritation. Very good rinse there. 
and the last pass. I want to pay attention to the smell when it's on my face because I have been kind of forgetting to. Maybe that means, oh no, I've got a good whiff of the smoke right there. This could be a heavy scent that might be a little too thick for most folks if, if it was mixed stronger. But in my opinion, it's, it's mixed just right. I mean, because who needs a really powerful wood smoke, you know, in general? Most people don't. I think that would be putting people off. I'm glad to say that during the shave, uh, the rose and the sweetness that I was picking up has, has backed off a lot. And I, I'm glad about that. Yeah, mostly the wood smoke, a little bit of the bay. I'm, I, I like this scent. I like it a lot. I think if you do, if you're the person to kind of put yourself in uh, the environment to kind of mentally embrace the what the soap is bringing to the table, then I think this is a good one for you. Another one that reminds me of is Cologne Russe from uh, Barrister and Man. I put my, it's a Russian inspired cologne base. And I kind of put myself back in old Russia and some of the old films I've seen. And it really does uh, help you to kind of be there. And that uh, that mental picture also helps me to enjoy the soap more. Oh yeah, mm, that smokiness coming in there. You get whiffs of it, different points during the shows. This is probably a little drier than I might like. Uh, it's it's kind of drying on my skin a little quicker, where I would need to relather instead of going back and visiting an area again. All right, let's uh, rinse. I'm going to do a touch up in my trouble spot right there. I didn't get a chance to really go the, the right angle on it. I, I kind of shave a slight cross grain on that for the first three passes and then I come at it from the other side of the cross grain on the last pass with maybe a slight against the grain attitude toward it. And that is what really helps me to get this area well. Oh, now that's good. Sometimes this type of angle can irritate the borders of that area where the hair takes a different turn. But nope, very nice. So I'm getting a, a lot of comfort from this razor. Um, a person hoping to get the mamba, but with more aggression could be disappointed if they're expecting it to be a, a significant amount of aggression um, but I, I'm, I'm getting just that same comfort just a little bit more uh, blade feel and I'm getting also I think a little bit more efficiency too there's a small section of my, uh, my trouble spot area that uh, where I can see the tips a little more than I usually like to. I don't really see any length on them, which is, is very good. It means I've got a nice close shave, but uh, I think maybe I forgot my technique a little bit. Uh, maybe this combination of blade and razor requires me to have on point technique for this section. I should have, it's kind of right there. I should have pulled that section over lightly to put the, those hairs kind of in a different spot that uh, that is able to be shaved a little better so i didn't do that i've uh, got no irritation at all right now uh, face feel is nice i'm really glad i picked up the plunder um, i think it's a, it will be enjoyable uh, in the future and i love having another option in there in their great base so let's see how much lather we have left over we did three and a touch up and still have plenty so it looks like maybe 
I could back off and do maybe try 20 second lather, 25, something like that. But this is not too much waste. Not too bad. I like to have a margin left over. And this definitely gives me that. And do touch ups if I need to. That sort of thing. Uh, how much water did I use? Yeah, I just had three teaspoons. Three teaspoons of water for that. I'm gonna do some cleanup. The the sweet parts they added to the the note here, and I can I can smell it from my brush, have tamed the smoke nature and have turned it more into a, a an enjoy almost a gourmand uh, wood smoke to, to my nose at least. Um, I, cannon smoke, I believe, like traditional gunpowder, has a more uh, more bite, more bitterness to it. Acridness, is that the right word? Ac acridity. Um, uh, maybe it's the sulfur. But, uh, and so that's missing. That aspect to it is missing. I don't think anybody's going to uh, smell it and think cannon smoke uh, because of that. I would, if the rose hadn't been there, then maybe um, it would have been a little closer to it. But, uh, I like it. I like it so far. We'll see. Um, I definitely plan to use it many more times. We'll see if it, uh, that, that sweet aspect to it, I, I pick up in the brush. I don't pick up as much when it's on my face, which is good. I also do pick it up in the dry tub. Um, and so fortunately, while I'm using it, it's not as strong. I would rather it be a little, have a little bit more kick and bitterness. Um, you know, to it to, to really amplify that gunpowder uh, attempt that they're trying to make. But uh, first response, first impression is good. Uh, like my brushes, I was looking at my aftershave selection and a bit at a loss until I looked down at the, uh, the toners section that I have. And I pretty much just have two entries. Got Thayer's Witch Hazel, unscented, and then I have an animal. <laughs> so we were able to step in and hit it on all counts. Uh, Lucky Tiger, I actually really like this this tonic. Um, I think I'll always have a little bit of this in my um, inventory. Just shake it up just in case. This doesn't have any alcohol, so if you have some uh, issues with that, uh, if you have dry skin and this can be a good one for you. Chamomile. Calendula, I think, whatever that is. Feels real good. A little slight orange scent to it. Not a lot of the scent from the soap is, is sticking around me, so there's it's not really conflicting, but... I'm going to guess that those scents might actually collide really nicely. You know a way to try that? Just grab your soap tub. Oh no, that orange makes this smell weird. That's interesting. Eh, ah. Eh, not a match. I rarely have that reaction. <laughs> to me, that is not a match. All right. All right, so face feels excellent. Uh, how might I compare the 70 to the 53? Uh, to me, I'm really happy with the way they did it. They didn't up the gap so much that it became like a bunch of other razors that I have. It's still within that smooth, comfortable, enjoyable razor category, at least with this Falcon blade. And the... Uh, I might even call it uh, the 70 being smooth and the 53 being smoother. And that's kind of where I, I put them. They both give me excellent shaves. Uh, I got this, uh, I think, pretty much the same efficiency with both of them. So that's really nice. So comfort and efficiency for me, I'm really happy with that. Uh, for shavers who like to chase that baby butt smooth, I'm sorry, I'm not able to do that. I don't really want to do that. And so I can't help you in terms of that. 
uh, but I just, uh, I was able to go multiple directions, and in some cases here against the grain in some of these parts uh, with a reasonable amount of comfort, which is atypical for me. All right. I like the makeup. I like the composition. I like the finish on these razors from Razor Rock. I don't like their soaps very well. They're they're okay, but they uh, there's just so many better ones out there that I, I I've learned even if I get them on sale, I I, I don't really like them anymore compared to the uh, so, uh, just so many great options we have out right now. But in terms of the razors, I like the the uh, more aggressive game changer, the eighty something. I like the Mamba a lot. I like some of their handles. I think those are really high quality. I think he is able to get those in stainless steel and platinum and those sort of titanium because uh, he just they just order in such big quantity because they know they're going to have the demand. And that's pretty cool. And I'm glad they're able to pass that on to us. Uh, Plunder is a hit for me. I could understand how there's a good sex segment of the people out there who, um, you know, are more traditionalists with uh, barber shops and you know uh, uh, other types of fragrances that they might like to stick with cologne based fragrances so this is definitely in that outlier category of uh, scent genre but uh, i enjoyed it i'm looking forward to trying it again and uh, i talked about the water the brush did great as usual um oh and the falcon that's made by treat i want to make sure i said that um, it's, uh, I got it in the treat sampler from triablade.com. And, uh, that's, I think we're good. The, uh, the Noble Otter, this new base has a focus on, uh, on also helping you post shave. And so I think it's even with you sensitive skin folks, dry, dry, dry skin folks, this one's going to be a good soap base for you. Combine it with a moisturizer afterwards. And I'm going to guess you're going to be in good shape. I've got oily skin, so I'm good either way. You could definitely walk away from this shave without having used the uh, the, uh, the toner that I did, but, but I just like it anyway. All right. Well, happy camper. I hope you have a good day. This is Sugar Daddy Shaves. I hope there was something here for you. You take care.